Hello everyone, a uh, common issue with Toyota car keys here. Just going to give you a quick video on how to replace these worn out buttons here and also how to change the battery. So, on this one, the battery's gone and the buttons have worn out. In some cases, you see those buttons there, you may have to take them off and resolder them. Um, in this case, um, I'm going to try and hopefully they haven't been damaged too far and to uh, show you how it's done without having to go through having to re-solder these and so I haven't got the soldering iron so if for something like that if that happens then I'll just take it to my little, local key shop and admit the diffy and let them do it but here goes so I got myself here I have a ratchet precision screwdriver set here so I've got the PZ20 uh, little Phillips types um, mini screw there that fits into here so to open it all you do is just literally unscrew this so be careful not to damage the thread so it gently does it there you go the gap comes off then all you do just prise the two pieces open there. There's a clip here, so just be mindful of that. I'm making a meal of this. Okay, so as you've seen, I was struggling with that. So what I've done is, if you get um, the flat head, just put a flat head on your thing, and just in between the gaps. And just put your flat head there and just twist it and it all comes open nicely without damaging anything and so all you do so focus there there you go just take this off be careful with that and so that's where the new rubber buttons will just literally just sit and then the battery is behind here so what we have to do is just here there's a little slot and again you can just take the screwdriver and just open the slot or just do it by hand actually a bit fiddly there you go gently and then you just need to change the battery there she is so I don't know if you can see it there if you can get the focus so it's CR2016 let me try and focus it there you go CR2016 so you just need to change that so as you can see I keep a whole stash of these they're like a pound as you can see you just get it from the pound shop or pound stretcher um, but if you go Halfers they'll charge you about a fiver but then again you will get the uh, Duracell ones or Energizer I think but these are relatively robust and excellent value for money um, but I keep them in stock anyway so that's all there is to it you just get this battery make sure the plus sign or the this is facing up then let me put the old battery there and you just gently just take this out without making sure you don't damage the connectors and then quickly don't take too long otherwise sometimes if you take too long they need reprogramming so there's these slots here just make sure it slips back into there there we go just make sure it's working look red lights and the positive thing about that also means is that I don't need to resolder these buttons so at least we know that is that sorted and all you do is the reverse, just plonk that, put this plastic back on again. And it just goes back in nicely like that. Okay, so now let's get the buttons. Okay, so I forgot to show this at the beginning, but I bought this off eBay for like pound fifty. So sometimes they come with this bit cut out, and so you just get the two buttons. 
and some batteries need the three buttons and it just sits on top like that. Obviously this being a two button all I need to do is just cut out the edges there so I'll just cut that now sorry I, I was gonna just skip to the bit where I've cut it but I should show you how I'm gonna do this so what I'll do is I'll just put this on here so I know so the way to do it is just there's that hole there that sits on top of the light so that's how you know where it sits up then you can just have a just be you don't have to be super accurate just cut out like this just make sure those two buttons aren't cut that's it so that's what I'll do now so I've done it now so I've used my scissors and just snipped cut that off get rid of that and now all we do is we just make sure that hole goes into where the light is and then the buttons there just make sure it works yeah good stuff and then all it is is the reverse of what we did before so get that just gotta make sure that's all fine yeah all the clips aren't broken or anything like that which they're not so I've checked and none of the clips or anything like that are broken and quite common with these is that here it breaks this thing comes off unfortunately when that happens if you're lucky this bit might stay so you don't need to worry about the key and all you need to do is just get the shell again but if that breaks then you'll have to get the key cut again because this is attached to this uh, actual plastic frame itself so hopefully that doesn't happen for you but I've seen it happen loads of times so all I do I get this it's a bit fiddly but literally if you just do you know what just realize you just put it in like this look like so make sure the buttons are sticking out on this side pop them out pop them out there we go and then sit this in there like so if I turn it around there it is make sure it works yeah and then it's a case of just clicking this back so there's that clip here you need to get that in first and then push that in uh, and after doing that after doing that let me just tidy this table up for you hold on okay so there you go a lot neater now isn't it oh let me move that there you go right i've got the phillips type pz20 i think they call it so back and uh, let me just try and get that to focus there you go so all I've done is now the last bit to do is just the screw so I've put it back in the hole there and it's a case of just tightening it back in and then remember don't do it too tight and remember the thread if you do it too tight then it will there's not much plastic there if, there's not much plastic there as you can see and then what happens is quite often if you over screw it then that plastic here it cracks and then you have to get like a shell obviously if it cracks on this side it's alright you just get another plastic piece but if it cracks on this side then obviously it becomes a bit more expensive to um, do and I'm apologizing about the uh, autofocus but anyway let's see if it works so that's all done red light red light it's all sorted. Hope that helped everyone. Make sure you like and subscribe and uh, look forward to future videos. See you soon. Bye bye.